Hi guys and uh, welcome to the UV Therapy channel. Well, we won! 3-0 against Cagliari and it's a great start to the season, especially after last weekend's uh, loss uh, to uh, Lazio. So, when Allegri fielded these, uh, these guys uh, at the start of the game, it was uh, uh, Buffon at the back and uh, Alessandro, Chiellini, Rugani and Lichsteiner at, at, uh, at the back, with uh, Pjanic and Marquiso in the middle and uh, Mandzukic on the left, Quadrado on the right, Dybala and Higuain up front and um, it looked uh, I, I was shocked seeing Quadrado on the right because he didn't impress at all against Lazio he um, he barely he barely touched uh, the ball correctly and um, yeah I, I didn't even see the point of having him on the field but uh, yeah there he was and um, on the other left flank it was uh, Mario Mandzukic there he uh, he also when he when Allegri starts with Mandzukic on the left uh, Iguain won't get played as he should be, and I've been saying this for for I don't know how long, and and yeah, clearly, clearly there was also some issues today because um, Iguain was left uh, very much alone, especially in the first half. But but then again, uh, after 12 minutes, uh, Lechsteiner uh, with a no look uh, no look assist to uh, to Mandzukic who was in the box, and uh, he slotted it in on uh, on the volley and the 1-0. But uh, um, the thing is with Lichsteiner, uh, I see the point that he had an assist, yes, but his uh, his assist is more like a more of a luck lucky assist rather than skill. Because I see him, I saw I saw the replay and uh, and he was just barely kicking the ball to the, into the box and hoping to hit somebody. And uh, occasionally there was Mandzukic. So video assistant referee technology was finally. Uh, brought into play this season and uh, yeah after 36 minutes uh, it was it was used by the other referee Maresca and Alexandro stepped on uh, Duje Chop uh, the uh, Cagliari striker um, it, for me it seemed a bit soft uh, a bit um, clumsy maybe even but uh, if uh, if this uh, Cagliari striker hadn't uh, been rolling around and having uh, so much pain there would never be a penalty in my opinion but but there you go, uh, Maresca uh, pointed to the spot and uh, <laughs> what do you know, Gigi Buffon, San Gigi, saved it. And you know, you can throw at us uh, the uh, video technology and everything, but San Gigi will always prevail. So it was really cool, really cool moment there. And just just, just before halftime, yeah, we saw 2-0. It was pure, pure beauty from, uh, from Pjanic who... Uh, with Pirlo-esque long ball to to Dybala, he was suddenly all alone against the Cagliari goalkeeper, and uh, our new number ten he converted it to make 2-0 just just before half time. After an hour, uh, Claudio Marchisio went off and uh, Kedira came on. There was our first substitution, and just four minutes later, uh, Kedira, of all people, was uh, galloping forward uh, on the counter attack when uh, he found Alexandro on the left flank and. Uh, who then passed it to Iguain and then he slotted it uh, behind uh, Cranio in the Cagliari goal to make it 3-0. Iguain is one of the best strikers in the world, especially in the box. So when he gets the ball there, he very rarely misses. So 3-0 there, no question. And uh, yeah, just five minutes later, Iguain uh, got subbed uh, off for uh, Blaise Matuidi, actually. Uh, I, I didn't even think he will play today, but... Uh, there you go. <laughs> on the 73rd minute, uh, Quadrado went off and Douglas Costa came on, did okay. Uh, and from there on in, all uh, all Juventus, uh, it was all Juve to finish off with a 3-0 victory. And happy days! Clean sheet, as I said, three goals. And most importantly, three goals from strikers. So Dybala, Higuain and Mandzukic. Which is actually very rarely in Juve these days. On to the player ratings. Uh, Gigi Buffon, I will give him a 7 uh, out of 10. Um, didn't really have much to do. Uh, yeah, some saves here and there, but uh, he saved this penalty that was crucial. Alexandro, I will give him a 9 out of 10. He was excellent. He was beautiful to watch. Um, absolutely, absolutely monumental for our uh, third goal and uh, throughout the game, very, very solid guy. So, 9 out of 10 for him, for me. Chiellini will get uh, 7 out of 10. Too many free kicks given away, but uh, all in all, 
maybe he would, he was kind of a tactic from Allegri to uh, to make Kilini push forward a bit more uh, to block the counter attacks uh, counter attacks from Calgary. So I will give him seven out of ten. Rugani will give him the same seven out of ten. He's a bit rusty, but with lots lots of promise. Of course, this is not a good enough opponent to completely secure the starting point. But but in any in any case, uh, this is a good start. Eight, nine, or ten out of ten would be too much. I will give him seven. Uh, Lichtsteiner on the right. I just don't like the guy, so I'll give him five out of ten. Nothing spectacular. Made an assist to Mandzukic, but I see his crosses more of an aimless ball in the box uh, rather than seeing some uh, teammate there and trying to to and trying to pass the ball to him it was like yeah i'll just kick it uh, to the box and see what happens yeah for me it's not just not good enough i'll give him five out of ten pjanic will uh, have uh, seven out of ten nothing spectacular uh, apart from this beautiful assist beautiful assist but other than that some mistakes some ball misses here and there seven out of ten no, really doesn't deserve much more from me Claudio, very quiet, a uh, bit rusty, not as dominating as I've uh, used seeing him. I will give him 6 out of 10. Mandzukic, I will give the same, 6 out of 10. Runs a lot, does a decent job as a team player. But as I said, again, no offensive skills apart from being like a fox in the box type of player. Paolo Dybala, he will get 8 out of 10. Glimpse of an absolute magic, absolute magic throughout the whole game, especially the second half. He was running around, running rings around these uh, Cagliari players. <laughs> Crazy. Um, more, and I'm sure there will be more, more, more to come this season. You can bet on that. And uh, of course, yeah, what a goal, the second one. Yeah, beauty. Uh, 8 out of 10. Quadrado will probably play this uh, season a lot just because uh, others are m not so suited for Juventus style of play yet Douglas Costa and Bernadeschi but as soon as they will be fit and ready and pumped up I doubt I will see Quadrado there so tonight I will give him 6 out of 10 runs more like a headless chicken today basically and decent but nothing special and uh, to finish off um, the starting lineup Iguain was kind of a Invisible in the first half, but he gets more ball in the second and as you can see he scores <laughs> Easy as that so give the ball to Iguain, please let Use him and uh, as long as Mandzukic is there as I said That won't happen But at least we won and um, yeah Kedira he came on positive much 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 more vibrant and awake uh, than last uh, last time against Lazio uh, Matuidi came on, um, did simple things uh, right, nothing spectacular and that was just basically what was needed at 3-0. Uh, <laughs> at three, three Douglas Costa uh, came on, did some dribbles here and there, needs, uh, as you might saw, he needs time to adjust to Serie A and Italian football. But uh, for me it's just 15 minutes too little time to judge the Brazilian. That's it basically. Uh, follow uh, follow my um, YouTube channel. It's uh, Juve Therapy. On, uh, on there's a Facebook page. There's a Twitter page. Everything is there. Just uh, follow and subscribe and like and comment, please. Next weekend we'll go to Genoa and play at the uh, Marassi. Yeah, it'd be fun to see. A tough, tough, uh, tough stadium to come to, and um, hopefully we'll get another three points. So it will be a next Saturday. Same time, 6 p.m. I guarantee you the preview before that on Friday. See you then. Forza Juve!